The Chateau d'Amboise, located in the picturesque Loire Valley of France, is renowned for its architectural beauty and historical significance. However, beneath its elegant facade lies a chilling tale of betrayal, murder, and restless spirits that have haunted its halls for centuries. The Chateau d'Amboise has stood since the 11th century, initially built as a stronghold by the Counts of Anjou. Over the centuries, it evolved into a grand royal residence, hosting French kings and queens. By the late 15th century, under the reign of Charles VIII, the chateau was transformed into a stunning example of Renaissance architecture, becoming a symbol of power and grandeur. Charles VIII, deeply enamored with Italian culture and art, decided to incorporate Renaissance styles into the chateau after his Italian campaigns. However, his untimely death in 1498, under mysterious circumstances, cast a dark shadow over the palace. Legend has it that Charles was fatally injured when he struck his head on a low doorway. But whispers among the courtiers suggested foul play, hinting at a conspiracy to remove the king from power. Another tragic chapter in the chateau's history is the death of Leonardo da Vinci. Invited by King Francis I, Leonardo spent his final years at the nearby Clos Luce, frequently visiting Amboise. In 1519, Leonardo died, and he was buried in the chapel of Saint Hubert within the chateau grounds. The circumstances of his death remain shrouded in mystery, with some speculating that he was poisoned due to his controversial inventions and ideas. The chateau's history took a darker turn during the French Wars of Religion in the 16th century. The conflict between Catholics and Protestants, Huguenots, led to the infamous Amboise Conspiracy in 1560. A group of Huguenot nobles plotted to kidnap the young King Francis II and overthrow the powerful Catholic Guy's family. The plot was discovered, and brutal reprisals followed. Hundreds of Huguenot conspirators were captured, tortured, and executed. Their bodies were displayed on the castle's battlements as a grim warning to others. With so much bloodshed and tragedy, it is no wonder that the Chateau d'Amboise is reputed to be one of the most haunted places in France. Visitors and staff have reported numerous eerie encounters over the years. Shadows flit through the halls, and ghostly figures are seen wandering the corridors. Disembodied whispers and cries echo through the night, and many have felt an inexplicable chill while exploring the castle. One of the most famous ghostly inhabitants is the spirit of Charles VIII. It is said that his restless soul roams the chateau, forever searching for answers about his mysterious death. Visitors have reported seeing a spectral figure dressed in royal attire, his head bleeding from an apparent injury. The sound of footsteps and the feeling of an unseen presence often accompany these sightings. Leonardo da Vinci's spirit is also said to linger in the chateau. Some believe that his ghost guards a hidden treasure or secret knowledge buried within the castle's walls. Strange lights have been seen emanating from the chapel of St. Hubert, and ghostly figures resembling Leonardo have been spotted near his tomb. Those who attempt to investigate these phenomena often find themselves overwhelmed by a sense of dread and unease. The souls of the executed Huguenots are also said to haunt the chateau. Witnesses have described seeing ghostly processions of tortured men, their faces twisted in agony, marching through the castle grounds. The sound of chains rattling and the faint cries of the condemned can be heard on quiet nights. Some have even reported feeling an invisible hand grasping their shoulder, as if a restless spirit is trying to communicate its suffering. The Chateau d'Amboise stands as a testament to France's rich and tumultuous history. Its stunning architecture and royal legacy are forever marred by the dark and tragic events that unfolded within its walls. The ghosts of Charles VIII, Leonardo da Vinci, and the Huguenot conspirators continue to haunt the Chateau, 
their restless spirits serving as a reminder of the palace's haunted past. As the sun sets over the Loire Valley and the chateau is bathed in the eerie glow of twilight, one cannot help but feel the weight of history and the lingering presence of those who met their tragic end within its walls. The Chateau d'Amboise remains a place where the past and present intertwine, a haunting reminder of the dark secrets that history often tries to hide.